What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Dogecoin, Floki Inu, as well as Shiba Inu. And I also have an article that I wanted to share with you guys. As you guys can see right here, Shiba Inu coin burn and gaming deals can't stop its price slide. 30 million worth of Shiba stolen in BitMart hacks uh, sparks hunts for dog napper as ecosystem developments fail to return Shiba Inu coin for former glory. But more so just the fact that we're starting to see Shiba get added to certain gaming events as well as even... Um, burns that are happening right now and nothing is really affecting the price of Shiba Inu at all and we're actually starting to see prices correct even lower which isn't necessarily a good thing. Now I've started to notice a pattern that we did discuss earlier today within Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP and I'm seeing some similarities within mainly Shib, Floki and Doge here that I do want to go over and discuss with you. So definitely stick around for that. Otherwise guys today's video is brought to us by Token Puss. As you guys can see here there are new NFT coming to market. Their mint date is in less than two days so definitely stay Stay tuned for that. They're a generation of platypus in the metaverse, and there are only 10,000 unique individuals. So they're saying that they could be the next big NFT project that's coming to market here. So definitely stay tuned as they will be going in depth about them at the end of today's video. I've also linked them down in the description below. Otherwise, guys, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notification, and let's dive into today's episode. So um, honestly, the biggest updates that we have in this video here, you can pretty much see that it says, according to its anonymous founder known as Ryoshi, Shiba is scheduled for a massive burn in the coming weeks as the ecosystem looks to dive into blockchain gaming and the metaverse. So really as very similar to Dogecoin, what they're trying to do, Shiba as a whole, is uh, start to get some sort of utility behind it as Dogecoin, when it was first created, was literally had zero use case at all and then eventually just became another form of exchange as it did have low fees compared to some of the other options out there on the market here. Now, if Shiba is trying to do a similar thing, but taking it one step further, not only are they trying to be uh, a simple way of exchange, but they're also trying to obviously lower the amount of coins that are in market. And most of these uh, utility tokens don't necessarily have extremely high total supplies as Shiba Inu does. And then what they're also trying to do is partner with some gaming companies to just give the coin some utility. And now that it's got the money and the funding, the seed funding, it can finally start to turn maybe its crypto around and start to become a real use case utility coin. But as you guys can see right here, it says it's scheduled for a massive burn in the coming weeks. But unlike the often associated joke narrative that shadows Shiba Inu since, since its inception, Shiba Inu developer Shitoshi Kusama recent announcement of adding American video game publishing titan uh, Activision's former VP of technology to its bench as a consultant for Shiba Games hints at real world use cases coming to previously useless meme coin. As I literally just said, you can see here Shiba also has signed an agreement with publicly listed Australian video game developer Playside Studios. Interestingly, PLY uh, shares rose 4.8 cents since the announcement, while SHIB continued to fall, including a 6.2% price drop in the past 24 hours. So the rest of it's unnecessary here, but you guys can see, yes, SHIBA Inu is being affected pretty detrimentally, and we are starting to crack lower. You can see on the current coin market cap, a quick refresh shows you that markets are still continuously bleeding, and we are still correcting lower here. Now, more so on the 24 hours, not much has been moving here, but most of the cryptos overall within the past week have done nothing but correct lower. We're down about 20%, which is pretty incredible how quickly uh, these markets turn bloody here. But you can see what I thought was interesting is some of the other cryptos we said earlier today, like Ethereum and Bitcoin, all look pretty okay, unless proven otherwise, if we decide to break through their vital support levels on these coins here, they're still looking fairly bullish. We do have this beautiful red uptrend on Ethereum that if broken would signal a flash bearish reversal, which will obviously short, but we have every right and reason to believe of a correction to the upside here is coming. Um, um, as we explained earlier in today, which you can check out, same thing with XRP as it seems to have hit rock solid bottom being oversold and seeing a bullish flip on the MACD soon, we should expect to see our reversal back up to point D. Now, in regards to Shiba and some of these other cryptos, last we left off on the hourly here, we did draw in a very, very, very small, unnecessary 
uh, pennant flag formation here, which is usually a bullish sign here, but you know, in regards to which direction it confirms closing below is an opportunity to make a small profit off of that. As you can see right here, uh, we actually closed right below in the hourly charts here and started, you know, to correct lower here. You can see it then started to see some sort of double bottom, which is actually starting to see prices rise actually quite substantially. And we'll probably retest the moving average here, which is a good sign. But you know, these small things are just something to make very short term amounts of money off of in the very, very, very short term grand scheme of things here. Um, I'm not one to do that. I like to use more conservative style of trades here, like looking at daily charts and things like that. But you can see for the most part here, if I jumped to the four hour, we've mainly just been consolidating. Like for the most part, it's mainly just been a consolidation game of trading sideways and doing nothing but that for the past couple of days here. You can see once again, zooming in on Shiba Inu here since, you know, the 4th of December. Now we've had the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and now the 10th of December, just consolidating sideways with very little volume movement. You can also see we've been trading very much so inside, if not right on the cusp of our moving averages here on the daily charts. You can literally see prices getting rejected off top resistance, and then prices using the green band as either a support or a wick to retest and to consolidate up. But things are getting slim here. I definitely know and I'm anticipating a big uh, you know, reversal or volume injection coming to the markets very soon. Um, not necessarily due to SHIB or these other cryptos, but because of the overall market as a whole. Um, it's not SHIB, Floki, and Doge that are going to be uh, the direct cause for the run. We're going to see money move into Bitcoin and into Ethereum and into XRP, and that will ultimately stimulate things like SHIB, Floki, and Doge to get that necessary volume it needs to make a decision as to which direction it's moving to. But everything else is pretty much flatlined out on bottom support. You can see Floki 2, very similar to SHIB, which is rock bottomed out the past like five, six days. Floki is doing the same thing. We haven't seen this much sideways consolidation since inception or even when it's been added to, you know, the exchange like Polynex here. But since then, it's literally just been flatlined out on its bottom support level here, deciding where it's going to be moving to, waiting for some sort of volume, which hopefully we'll see soon. And Dogecoin too, which has been flatlined out completely. I said earlier today that the end of this falling wedge on XRP was right around the 15th to 16th of December. Ethereum also was around the 15th to the 16th of December here. And now you can see for Doge too, the end of this is right around the 15th to the 16th of December as well. So I do believe that is an important date for these cryptocurrencies. So that's pretty much the time that we have to wait for. Hopefully, um, due to the fact that Doge tends to be fairly uh, cyclical that we've seen in the past here, after retesting bottom supports here, it tends to break bullish uh, consistently. You can see this on the Bitcoin charts too, the Doge to Bitcoin here. But notice now that we are you know, consolidating in a falling wedge with a downtrend on the, on the uh, relative strength indicator. It ends in the next probably uh, five to six days, less than a week here. We should get a deciding factor because either we're going to be uh, breaking through our top resistance level, trying to get some support to bring us to the upside. We're going to have to make a decision or we're going to be breaking through support here and falling to the downside, which both ultimately uh, don't have much support. Breaking to the downside will be extremely low. Breaking to the upside probably is the better scenario, obviously, and it's well, it's going to its moving average here, which is what I think is going to happen, is a swing up like this. Uh, so I'm excited for these markets, but it's not just going to be these cryptocurrencies that you'll be able to capitalize on. Every cryptocurrency is going to get the volume. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, they'll all get you know volume injected into it. Now, I do plan on trading a Doge and SHIB specifically on uh, Bityard, which I have linked in the description down below. If you click on Innovation Area, you can see they do offer SHIBA right here, and they do offer Doge, which are two cryptos that you can actually leverage. You can see for XRP, we're waiting for this falling wedge to break, which is right around the 15th as well here. So I'm uh, very excited. I'd like to see how these play out here. Uh, we'll see if this burn helps the coin at all. I think it's going to be very temporary if it does. But um, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. I do want to talk more about Token Puss with you, though. I want to give a huge shout out to Token Puss for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything that you can't afford to lose. So guys, at this point in the crypto universe, everyone should be quite familiar with NFTs, although I still feel like there needs to be some more clarification. So for those that don't know, non-fungible tokens or NFTs are the latest cryptocurrency phenomenon to go mainstream. Now, NFTs have suddenly captured the world's attention. And in the simplest terms, NFTs transform digital works of art and other collectibles into a one-of-a-kind verifiable asset that are easy to trade on the blockchain. And although that may be far from simple for 
the uninitiated to understand, the payoff has been huge for many artists, musicians, influencers, and pretty much anyone that got involved in it. And with investors spending top dollars to own NFT versions of these digital assets, it's pretty incredible to see where this world is going. Now, non-fungible tokens are pieces of digital content linked to blockchain and the digital database underpinning cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, unlike NFTs, those assets are fungible, meaning they can be replaced or exchanged with another identical one of the same valuable, much like the dollar bill. But with NFTs, on the other hand, they are unique and not mutually interchangeable, which means no two NFTs are exactly the same. Now, NFTs are typically uh, used to buy and sell digital artworks and can take the form of gifts, tweets, virtual trading cards, images of physical objects, even video game skins or virtual real estate and more. And guys, Token Puss is a new generation of platypus in the metaverse, and there are currently only 10,000 unique individuals of their kind, and they live in Ethland. That's what it's called. Now, they love to be in the center of attention and always tend to be a bit cheeky, especially when they meet their new owners. So far, they have teamed up with their cousins from down under, the Australian platypus, and are donating 10% of their profits towards Australian wildlife conservations. Token Puss NFT is a project dedicated to the preservation of the Australian platypus species after the 2019 bushfires and the future development of the mobile game embedded with blockchain linking. Now, the NFT is a pre-sale opportunity for cryptocurrency users to basically purchase digital artwork direct from the creator and own a unique token on the blockchain uh, from the collection. Now, the roadmap is as follows, which stage one will consist of every 10th of the first 100 owners getting an airdrop token plus weekly giveaways to followers. Now, the stage two consists of every thousand tokens minted is getting a unique piece of merch as well. And stage three, when 50% is sold, a special giveaway and rare tokens will be issued to followers. Stage four will have $10,000 worth of Ethereum linked to lucky token holders. And stage five, the mobile game development will feature tokens and users who can link their unique characters together. Now, they have also confirmed partnerships with action game sport developer Aussie Adrenaline Game Studios, which is an action packed, fast paced, hyper casual game for mobile platforms. And now, Token Puss is relatively new to the space so more information about their smart contract will also be available later on their social media. But for those interested in their project, I did go ahead and link them in the description down below. Also remember that a launch is right around the corner, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, huge shout out to Token Puzz for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.